Can you see my pimple? Mm -hmm. Hello, and today we're going to do my main favorites. I only do beauty favorites every other month so that I can show you guys somehow new things. Pero dito sa papakita ko medyo my old things, but they are my favorites, so what can I do? I won't still have any options for you to vote, diba? Usually, I ask you guys to vote for next week's video here. Well, wala pa rin options because my schedule is still... So, yeah, hindi ko alam kung kailan ako mag-film. I don't know when I'm going to edit, when I'm going to upload. So, wala pa rin akong options because if you guys vote for a specific video, you know, sobrang mga heartbroken ako kung hindi ko ma-deliver sa inyo yung video na na-vote nyo. But I'm thinking that I'm going to do a beauty tip video next week. Iniisip ko parang concealer tips, you know, yung mga tips and tricks ko na ginagawa ko when I use concealer. Would you guys like that? Leave a comment below if you like that. Also, I have been thinking that would you like me to feature, you know, my fail products of the month? Because diba, usually every other month, my favorites. But then I do not share with you guys the products that did not work out for me. Would you guys want to do that in my favorites? My mga favorites and hate it. Smile ganon. Again, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if kasing windang na kayo as this baby. Parang ako windang na windang na rin. And also click the bell icon so you would not miss any of my videos. Let's go. I'd like to start with my miscellaneous favorites. And number one, wala siya sa akin kasi inubos ko na siya. Hindi ko na siya mahalap kung saan ko pa siya mabibili. And that is the Mentos Chewy Chewy something. <laughs> I forgot what the name was. But, ayun yung may green apple, para may grape. Hindi ko pa alam yung ibang flavors. But the thing is, I'm not sure if it is just limited edition. Because I was just only able to eat it at least mga parang tatlong packs. Tatlo or apat na packs yung nakain ko. And sobrang addicting siya. Sobrang sarap niyang ichu. As in, tama yung name niya na Mentos Chewy Chewy Something. Actually, hindi Chewy Chewy Something yung pangalan niya. Hindi ko lang maalala. But my favorite is the green apple scent. And guys, guys, if you know where I can buy those again, comment below because I cannot find it anywhere and sobrang nice sa ako kasi baka limited edition lang siya. Next one is a drink and ito siya. Pero actually hindi ito yung favorite ko because my favorite color is the blue one. I think this one is, ano ba pangalan ito? Tropical Fruit. I forgot what the blue one was. But guys, do you miss the you know, yung dating packaging ng Gatorade? Ngayon kasi puro ganito na lang. Well, maybe target audience nila are guys, but or girls, baka may mga girls na gusto yung mga basketball. But I just miss the old packaging of Gatorade. Kabe, no? Pati yung packaging ito, na problema ko pa. But I have been loving drinking Gatorade kasi naglolokoloko yung energy ko and chan ko and I am so scared to be dehydrated. And this drink has proven to come to my rescue. Now let's go on to the beauty favorites and I would like to start with skincare. And actually, kahakita nyo lang nito mga products na tong. Some of the products that I'm going to show you for skincare sa haul ko, Althea haul. So I would put a link below if you gusto nyo ng mas maraming info about these products. So first off is this exfoliator. Nakita nyo yun. Magre-replay ako. Papakita ko na. Nasaksak ko yung baba ko. Is it... Is it? Anyway, so this one is the Moksha Exfoliator. And ito yung Dear Apple Jam Scrub. And as you can see, ang dami ko nang nagamit sa kanya kasi hindi ko siya matigilang gamitin. As I said in my haul, it just feels like water. It comes out as very liquidy. So I thought that I was ripped off because I was, ex I, I, I was expecting a very strong exfoliator. But lo and behold, you know, looks can be deceiving talaga. Because this is the best exfoliator that I've ever tried when I put it on my face, when I use it. Even though I do not do scrubbing motions, nakikita ko na lang na nagbabakbak na yung dead skin cells and the dirt. This also smells good, but the downside, well, since medyo expected naman yun, since you are rubbing away the dirt, the oil, the grime, whatever on your face, na habang tumatagal na, it does not smell good anymore. It just smells like burnt skin. <laughs> Next is a sleeping max, max, mask, mask, sleeping mask. And this one is from Laneige. 
and it is a special care water sleeping mask and now I've never tried sleeping packs or masks before and this is the first time that I've tried it and oh my goodness I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm ever going to stop wearing sleeping masks again I've worn this um, mask ever since I got it as in walang walang humpay ko siyang ginamit and I can see a big difference whenever I wake up in the morning. Sobrang ang kate. Sobrang soft na ng skin ko in the morning and the pores are very refined and sobrang perfect canvas yung face nyo to put on makeup. Para ka nang naka-primer when you wake up. So, I also showed this in a haul again, yung mga links na sa baba. So, it looks like this and it has a spoon. And then, um, parang liquidy consistency siya since water sleeping mask nga. Ito siya. And I've used this every day. And you only need a teensy, teensy, tiny bit. And as you can see, I still have a lot. And grabe yung scent nito. Sobrang relaxing. It also helps me sleep. Let's move on to the makeup-related stuff. And let's talk about this brush. Oh my god, hindi siya artiste brush. Hindi rin siya knockoff ng artiste brush. Brush. This one is from Etude House and it is the Etude House Secret Brush 120, 121, 121 Skin there and it is their artiste, artiste like brush. Now I haven't tried any artiste brush or the knockoff ones because I was not really in that wagon when they started to release brushes that are shaped like this. For me, when it comes to makeup application, medyo old school but talaga yung preferred method ko because I really like brushes, your traditional brushes as compared to, you know, this type of brush or the sponges. Kahit kayo sponges, diba? diba? Parang na-revolutionize na nila yung way of putting on your face makeup. But for me, I still prefer brushes as compared to those other methods. But you do what you do. But grabe, ito, it changed the way how how I put on my face makeup. So, mas inclined na ako tuloy to try the other brushes that are shaped like this. It is such a breeze to blend in your makeup using this. And I think yung advantage niya compared to the artiste one is that hindi flimsy to. Kasi ang kapal niya. See? There. And actually, meron pa tong kasama. Detachable tong head na to. Hindi ko nga lang yata matanggal and baka masira ko siya on kamwag na so hindi ko nagagalawin. So, detachable siya and it comes with a sponge applicator. What I noticed about this, since it is very densely packed and sobrang short lang nito, is that sobrang even niyang nadidistribute yung product across my face but at the same time, it still retains the pigment and hindi niya masyadong na-fade out yung um, coverage of the foundation or of the concealer and also no streaking. Next is a powder. And sorry kung paulit-ulit ko nang pinapakita to but this one is actually my favorite powder foundation. And this one is the Max to a Max Ano yung Max Max Candy? <laughs> Max Studio Fix Powder and my shade here is in NC25 and konti na lang. I would run out of it so bibili na ako ng bago and I just love it. It's very very easy to work with and it also gives me decent amount of coverage because during the summertime, I don't usually use like liquid cream foundations. Mas okay na talaga ako na powder na lang kasi mas fresh and mas light sa skin. And this does the job. This one, medyo magugulat kayo because what? Ano inisip ko? But wait, wait lang ha, wait lang. I've been using this product to set my entire face. And, ito siya. <laughs> hindi siya translucent powder, hindi siya loose powder, the mineral powder. It is the Johnson's Baby Powder. And this one is yung, ano ba to? May mga iba-iba pa ba tong color or scent? But ito siya, yung pink. And it just says here, yun, blossoms. Blossoms pala. And I really like the scent, pero hindi siya lingering on the face. And it says here, long-lasting freshness and skin comfort. And guys, of all the setting powders that I've tried, only this one will actually be just setting powder. Talk siya. Only this one can withstand the oil on my face. 
As in, parang 8-hour wear ko na siya, but hindi niya pa rin pinapatakas yung oil sa face ko. Well, I would see hints of oil here and there, but then, konting ganun lang okay na, but then I'm all matte. And I haven't noticed that with any of the setting powders that I have tried, and I am liking this product for that, especially during summertime na para ako nagpiprito parate ng kung ano-anong fried food sa mukha ko. And also, sobrang fresh niya sa skin and it's very easy, you know? Tak-tak mo lang siya and then you just pat it on your face. And yes, at first it would look like para kang may mask of white, but then eventually it would fade out and it would look seamless on your face. Word of warning lang ha, since parang pure talk to, well actually ito, nakalagay sa ingredients niya, talk and fragrance. So if you're going to take photos, um... Magmukha kayong white lady. Next are two concealers that I have been loving. And this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I have two shades. This one is... Anong shade ba to? Is sand. And this one is medium. I think this one is medium. Natanggal ko na yata. Medium, yeah. This one is medium. And according to the lady that I went to in the store, sand yung pinaka lightest na na-release nilang shade here in the Philippines. Which again, girl, girl, I still don't understand why they don't release the full range of shades in the Philippines. Because hey, we need the variation of colors. But I've been using these two on my face because again, haven't been wearing foundation. And you know me guys, I have a lot of acne scars here. Mm -hmm. I have to cover them and this combination is doing well. Nakikita nyo ba? Nakikita nyo yung acne scars ko? Well, actually, ito kasi sobrang laki ng pimple ko dito. So, hindi nakakayanin yan. I really like the coverage of this. The thing is, it does crease if you do not set it well. I have a full review of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I would put a link below if you would want to watch that. I haven't been wearing eyeshadow lately or mascara kasi minsan, mascara na nga lang yung sinusuot ko, but then, sobrang init. So, what I have been doing to define my eyes, ayan, like, ngayon, parang gumagawa ako na somehow invisible eyeliner. I have a, an old video of doing invisible eyeliners. I, I know that it's an old video and grabe parang ang bata-bata ko pa dun. But, um, I would put a link below because I think that it is still very helpful and very significant. So, what I have been doing is I've been using this palette and this one is the Sephora Vintage Effect um, Filter Palette. And it looks like that. Ayan siya. And I have been using this color right here, which is called Coffee Brick. So, nakikita niyo yung color niya para siyang reddish brown with a hint of taupe. And when you blend it out, parang mas nakikita niyo na mas red siya. And that's what I have been using as my eyeliner slash eyeshadow. Kaya ko siya sinasabi na eyeliner slash eyeshadow because I use this brush and this one is from Marianod and it is the M35 Ice Brush and also favorite ko rin siya since I've been doing this eye look for quite a while. So I dip it in this color right here and then I smudge it at my upper lash line as in closest to your lash line talaga and I am not precise with it as in smudge smudge ko lang siya. And when I see that there is a clean line right there, I take this brush and this one is I think from Marianod also and it is the N8i brush and it looks like that so para siyang pointed and I do not dip this on the color I do not dip it but what I do is that I blend it out and I smudge it out and it just cre creates and it creates this very hazy but defined look to my eyes ayan lang ang ginawa ko sa eyes ko today and as you can see parang sa malayo parang siyang defined but not really and I've been loving that look and also perfect yung color na to kasi since it's brown it could also act as an eyeliner but when you blend it out para ka na rin merong eyeshadow color because lumalabas yung mga reddish component in this 
color single color right here so it saves me time and the best thing about it is that it does not feel heavy on the eyes kasi kahit ganyan ganyan ko yung eyes ko parang wala akong something but i still look divine wala akong punasan nagkakalat na ako ng eyeshadow <laughs> and last but not the least is the favorite my favorite lip combination of the past month and actually two months na na sobrang sawa na yata yung mga nakakita sa akin kasi puro ito na lang yung lip combination na ginagawa ko and it is uh, this lip color right here and I combine these two and these two are the NYX lip lingerie so first off is that i put this color right here and this one is in ano ba to? exotic yeah that is in exotic and swatch ko siya ito siya ayan ang kulay ng exotic so i put that just a thin layer one layer also and then i put this on and this one is the shade honeymoon para siyang grayish topish brown and eto siya pakita ko yung color niya ayan siya so what i do is that after i put this on one layer lang i put it this color on top of this color and pag mixin niya natin siya para makita niya yung color wait lang mag experiment lang tayo ng slight bilisan mo tish bilisan mo all right, yeah. So, ipag mix na natin sila. Yeah. So, that's what I have been wearing on my lip. Parang kulang pa to ng brown. So, dapat medyo dadagdagan pa siya ng brown. But, technically, ayan yung nasa lip ko. And, I found that I really like the color. It really suits me. Parang siyang natural color with a, you know, a dark twist. Because, you, you know me, guys. I love dark lip colors. Ewan ko ba kung bakit. Kahit summer, gusto ko pa rin ng dark lip color <laughs> yung sinusuot ko. Tapos din, ang dalal ko, ang bilis ko yata magsalita. I'm very sorry, but yeah, ang dami ko pang gagawin and sobrang na-squeeze ko lang tong video na to para maka-film ako ng favorites video ko. And I'm sure na late na naman to. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this. This is Tish and I'll just see you on my next video. Bye! Click on my face to join the family and click the video on the right for my previous video. And nope, nothing will happen if you click my dog.